Hello everyone! Today we're going to have a look at how to make a project on Scratch called Rock Band. So before we start, we will need a device capable of running Scratch and we will also need a Scratch account. Step 1. Selecting your sprite. So this is how your screen should look right now. This is our editing field. To begin with, we're going to delete the sprite on the screen. To do this, we're just going to click the bin around the highlighted sprite and that'll just delete it. Next, what we'll do is we'll go into the little plus in the bottom right hand corner where the cat icon is. And this will allow us to add a new sprite. Once you've clicked this, what we'll do is click the magnifying glass and this will allow us to search the database of sprites. Now what we're going to do is we're going to search for our sprite. So select the search bar and start typing in drum and select the single drum that's on the screen and this will be our first sprite. And as you can see it now appears on our stage. Step 2. Adding a background. So now we're going to add a new background. To do this we're going to go into the bottom right hand corner again and we're going to select the button next to the add new sprite. And this will allow us to add a new background. So again, we're going to click that and click the magnifying glass again. And this will allow us to search the database of backgrounds. Once we've done this, we're going to go along the top row and click the indoor section. And this will show us all the backgrounds that you can choose that are indoors. From this, we're then going to select the theatre. And then this is what will be displayed on your stage as your background. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reposition the drum on the screen. So what we'll do is we'll click and drag the drum into the position that you want it on your stage. Step 3. Adding sound. So next what we're going to do is we're going to have to add an extension to get our sound. So to do this, we're going to go down to the little plus in the very left hand bottom corner and click that and this will allow us to choose an extension and we're going to select the very first extension called music and now you can see that the music extension has been added to our drop down list on the left hand side step four starting our code so to begin with we're going to go into the events tab and we're going to click and drag the when this sprite clicked block and click and drag that into the center of our field. Then we're going to go into our music extension. I'm going to grab the play drum block, click and drag that into our field and connect it to the already placed block, just like a Lego block. Step five adding a second sprite. Next we're going to add another sprite. To do this we're going to go back into the little cat icon and this time instead of searching for a drum we're going to search for a singer. So once this appears on our stage we can reposition it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to head into costumes. This can be found in the top left hand corner just below the scratch icon. From here, we're going to duplicate our singer. To do this, we'll right click on singer one and a little sign will say duplicate and we'll click that and then we'll have two images appear. So now we're gonna to have to rename them. We're gonna rename singer two to not singing and rename singer one to singing. So now we have sprites with two different names. We have to be able to tell the difference between them. To do this, we're going to go on to the singing sprite and we're going to draw three lines to differentiate to tell that she's singing. To do this, we're going to choose the line option, which is the fourth option down on the left hand side. And then just draw three lines as I'm doing right now to identify that she's singing. Step six, getting our singer to sing. So again, we're going to head into our events tab and click and drag the when this sprite clicked button and click and drag that into our field. After this, we're going to head into the looks and we're going to grab the switch costume 2. 
click and drag that and connect it to the already placed sprite. I'm going to change the not singing to singing by clicking the drop down arrow. Once we've done this, we're going to go into the sounds tab next to costumes. We're going to go down to the very bottom left hand corner and click add a new sound. Again, we're going to click the magnifying glass and from there, we're going to select the search bar and type in singing. Once you've done this, we'll be able to see an option for singer one and singer two. Now we're going to select singer one and we'll be able to hear what she sounds like. So now we've heard what she sounds like, we can go back into our code and start adding this sound to our code. To do this, we're going to go into the code tab below the scratch icon. We're going to go into the sounds tab under looks and select play sound until done. Click and drag that into our field and pop it below the switch costume. Once that's placed, we're going to go into looks again and select another switch costume. But this time we're going to switch it to not singing. Step seven, testing our code. So what happens when you click on your singer and your drum? Can you see your singer's costume change? Can you hear her sing? And what happens when you click the drum? Can you hear it play? Well done, you finished the rock band project. Now, since you've just finished this tutorial, I've got a little challenge for you. Using what you've learned during this project, I challenge you to start making your own band. And this will involve creating a new sprite and adding a sound to the sprite so that it plays when you tap it. How many new instruments can you make?